Wow. Good rainy afternoon. This is our fifth day at Jeju and now we are starting the day by going to Sangumbori, which is one out of 360 craters in Jeju. This place has, you can see the crater itself, but it has a lot of fields, flowers and other plants around. Today it's a bit cloudy, it's a bit not heavy rain, we call it in Estonia this the mushroom rain. This is just a misty misty day, so I think it's a good day to visit this magical place. The buildings in this place are really cool, they're all outside facade is all made out of the volcanic rock and it really reminds me of lord of the rings the hobbit village somehow or maybe some other troll house in jeju you will definitely notice this gate to different entrances and the three wooden bars but it actually has a meaning it's like an old message form so when you have three bars inside of the stone gate it means the owner is not home and also says don't come right now, oh, I'm not here. When you have two in, inside of the wooden gate, it means I will be back in the evening. When you have only one, it means I'll be right back. And when all three are open or when all three are open from one side, it means we're home, you can come and visit. So this is kind of simple message way, but also genius way to let the people know or, the, or your neighbors know that Okay, I'm not I'm home or I'm away. Just behind me, you can just see the crater. So luckily, it's really close to the entrance. It's not like you have to climb high on the top, so anyone could come here really fast. But I think the camera doesn't do justice for how big or how deep this crater is. And also right now you have some mist coming out, so I feel like some Spirits are gonna pop out from the crater anytime. That's a really cool house behind me. All the walls and even the rooftop is made out of the volcanic rock. The legend says in the evening when all the people leave, these rocks will all dance on the mountain fake news wouldn't it be cool if they actually would dance here <laughs> have you ever wondered how it feels to own a crater well <laughs> this place is owned by one person this is privately owned land and that's why you also have to pay a ticket when you come here it was 6001 for one person so this money probably goes into maintaining this place, but still, usually you go any other place, it's always free, it uh, belongs to the, I don't know, the country, the city, but here, someone actually owns a crater. <laughs> How cool is that? They also have a gift shop and a small cafe on the, at the entrance, so when you do a circle and it's a cold day, it's definitely a good place to come, stroll, get some warm to drink, heat, and then move on. On the way to our next destination, we're gonna grab some something warm to drink, some tea or coffee, but we stumbled upon some ducks. Look at them. Not only ducks, they also have chicken and roosters and I see also a couple of lambs. So this is a really nice cafe. Enjoy it together with the animals. You can get something to drink, you get something to eat, there are some seats. And then you can also communicate together with the tux. But the cafe we're going is there. Quick warm snack before we continue our journey. Some egg sandwich, some mojo that has a chestnut filling and coffee and tea because it is a little bit chilly outside so we need something to warm us up. And the good thing is that you have cafes everywhere. In mainland Korea, no matter where you drive, you have huge cafes on the side of the roads same thing in Jeju, you have small cute ones and also huge ones like we are right now. So when you're cold, no problem finding something to warm you up. We are in our next destination, it's uh, Saryoni Forest. And this path is one of the many forest paths in Jeju. They are actually all connected, but this is just one small one. And it's, and it's not like a classic 
forest when you have huge trees it's more like a, it's a maze right now what what they've done here and because all the trees come together and we feel like we're we are in a green tunnel also as you can see from from the my surroundings and to be honest with the weather like today it also feels like we're heading to a witch's house so dark and misty and everything This specific path is close to Hala mountain and that's, this also makes the path going up and down so giving it a more depth so you feel it going deeper, darker into the belly of the forest Have you seen the movie The Headless Horseman with Johnny Depp? This reminds me of the place where the Headless Horseman was buried or the place that it pulled in the people If you look really closely, you can see the witch of the forest. You have to be really careful around her. Ooh. The important question of life, which direction to go? Right, left. Or just go from the middle. Yeah. We're gonna take a risk. We're gonna go on a path that says turn right. <laughs> We're just gonna turn right and see where it goes. Is it the right direction or is it just right? No one knows. We don't know. Stay tuned. We will find out. Stupid. We also discovered one of the benefits of this specific material track. It's, it's a wet day, it's a forest, obviously it's wet, but our shoes are dry because of the path. And second of all, we know where to go. We know that we are not heading off the wrong path. And, and I mean, of course, if this uh, path would stop all of a sudden, we understand, okay, we are at the wrong direction, but right now it's totally fine. May the fourth be with you. I just understood what these rock fences or these rock squares mean. These are to mark grave sites or tombs because you can see this egg shape there. And in Korea, usually this egg shape indicates a tomb. And I can see several of them of around and every single one of them has a small egg shape, small mountain looking thing in the middle this this must be a tomb site so we are basically walking around in a forest path that's also a graveyard that's not spooky at all no oh, I see a tiger again we can see the sunlight again oh, sorry we can see the light again it's quite dark in the forest if you if you come out you understand like how much light you have outside Whew. that was a good Good journey. So in Jeju usually you eat, you walk, you eat, you walk. And this was part of the walking. So soon we're gonna eat <laughs> or maybe walk. I don't know. Let's see. We are now in our new destination in Iho Beach, but we're back in Jeju city. So today has been a little bit chaotic. We left South Kikpo city, we checked out and soon we're gonna pick up uh, Kayong's mom. So Korean mom is gonna come to Jeju and join us. So last time when we were in Jeju city, we didn't have time to check the beach and also the horses that everybody, I think these are uh, lighthouse horses. We will have a quick look and then head back to the airport. Biho beach seems to also be the surfing spot for the locals because at, at one side of the beach, there are a lot of surfers. They're doing actually quite well. The waves are not huge, but I mean, that's why also they use the long boards. There's quite a few of them. I think you can also take lessons here. It's a bit chilly here. But luckily the weather has changed. We started in the morning, it was so misty, a little bit chilly, it was rainy. And then once we made back to the north side, we can see some sun, the clouds are starting to clear up. Once the sun comes out, it's really warm. But it's really nice to finally be in a beach. We've seen the sea so many times. 
but we still haven't had the chance to actually put our feet into the sand and see the sea so close oh we finally have our romantic walk in the beach no sunset but still romantic walk finally the dog we just met is uh, Shindo and we also we also learned from uh, the owner there are five types of types of Shindo and he is the one who's called Tiger Shindo that's a bit Shindo usually is really smart but the owner said this one is a bit stupid because it's not the cleanest breed <laughs> but but he was so cute and friendly and also the color is so different because usually Shindo is either white black brown yellow and then this one so it was quite rare to see this this Shindo we haven't seen before. We just made it to our destination in the east of Jeju. Now it's dinner time. Ah, this smells so good. It's gonna be seafood. As we are at the seaside, they have a special side dish. This one is with fermented squid. Squid kimchi, you can say. I have to have this food with my favorite drink, Chilsang Saira. Every time when you eat, get this as well. It's better than Sprite. Wow. This is what we're gonna eat. This is like one meter long seafood pot. This is filled to the brim with seafood. It has octopus, it has shrimp, fish, clams, everything. This is a seafood dream. Wow, <laughs> this is really so long. It's like... Yeah, hair yeah. Dream. So much, uh, and also it has full kimchi inside. There was even more surprises. We found rice cake inside. The kimchi itself is old kimchi inside, so the flavor is stronger, and it yeah, it really enhances enhances the flavor. Of course, they have normal kimchi, which I will try later. And yeah, our Korean mom is cutting the fish, fish and seafood into smaller bites so we can eat. Oh, this really looks amazing. Okay, time to try this monstrosity. I'm gonna take it easy, so first I have to try the rice cake, so otherwise it gets too soggy. Ah, oh, it's hot. Mm. Spicy as well. Mm, rice cake is nice and chewy. You can also dip it into the sauce. Make it even better. But it has a nice light spicy kick to it. Mm. And you need rice for it. But this place is a little bit different. They mix the rice with um, some other seeds, so rice looks a little bit too purple. But actually this rice is a little bit more healthier than just a white one. And also a bit tastier. So every time we dig deeper, this time we found hair tail on the bottom of the, I don't know how to call this thing, but this massive, let's call it a square pot. First, also have a little bit of clam. Uh, mm. So soft and so flavorful. It's definitely fresh because you have to see it just close here. And you can be sure the fish is just brought here in the morning. Let's also try the hair tail. so good when you can eat fish that just has a so clean flavor and it's so soft so good so good I'm also curious how does their old boiled kimchi taste like mmm so different it's like 
it has slight sourness to it and also sweetness so it's not like your average kimchi it's not even like your average kimchi in a kimchi stew it's just different when you finish your fish it has to look like this welcome to the segment Yonan tries kimchi this time it's there special kimchi here when you go and get it from the counter they don't bring it so you have to go get it yourself it comes in big chunks so you have to cut it yourself well, let's try I think this again is a fresh kimchi the cabbage itself is still crunchy and quite fresh tasting you can actually feel that it recently was in the salt water mm. but I think with this kind of seafood it goes really well so because of the combination of the food I'll give it 6 out of 10 it's not enough that we have a huge amount of seafood they also brought us a side dish but this is this is basically free I mean you kind of pay for it but it, this is a side dish another fried fish I need to try it mm. it's so crunchy I feel it's also quite salty so I feel this is really good to have with beer or some cider by the end of the meal they bring you halabon ice cream on the house because the main dish itself is quite spicy so the ice cream helps to cool down cool down the palate also the lips are burning I mean it's not as spicy that your mouth is burning but when you keep eating and then the lips get a little bit red and then this helps to cool it down it's so good if you never had halabon I mean if you in Jeju you have to buy halabon then you understand how the flavor is so good and refreshing mm. hands down this has been the best meal we had in Jeju everything is high quality sometimes these kind of places might look like kimiki this one no this is soft octopus soft abalone good shrimp everything was delicious the kimchi I mean the name is a bit different the old kimchi inside of the stew even this was something that I was craving so much hands down the best this meal we had so far and for this you have to travel here I will leave the area place in the comments and you can find it and you probably have to book it in advance but it's definitely worth the travel let me also show you our airbnb but it's gonna be a quick one